Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is Nail of the Week. And if you'd like to see what I did, then please continue watching. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping back in to check out another one of my nail designs. And I love this one. It has a childlike feel to it. And I like dreamt about this one. I was excited to do it. Um, down in my playlist, I did a butterfly look. I've done a few, but I did a butterfly look kind of in the same kind of theme that was very childlike and it was so adorable. And then this one, I decided to do another childlike one and I love it. Let me show you. It has got the daisies in it in the middle there, and then it's got the dots on it done in a brown and yellow look. Of course, you're going to see it better in the video, but it's just so childlike. It's got such a childlike feel to it, and I think it turned out adorable, and I love it, and the toe design is just as cute. And then the outfit coming, I'm excited. It's more of a casual look, but still classy enough to wear to church. I'm going to wear this one to church. So it definitely can be used um, as something more classy, like, you know, going to a park, uh, you know, get together like a barbecue, but still be classy for like photos if you're going to do photos or just, you know, get, get together maybe at a wedding. You would still be classy enough to wear this, but also be casual so that you feel good. And I want to start offering those looks for you guys now that the weather is so nice here. I'm going to offer more than just dresses. Of course, I do the dresses because it is on church day on Sundays, but I've got other looks coming now with the spring coming here. I'm going to be doing some rompers and some really cute looks that is, you know, just to kind of change it up a little bit for you guys. And then some sporty looks. I've got some different looks coming, so I'm excited about it. But this one is really cute. I love it. And I love the way this nail design turned out so cute and so childlike. So anyways, keto uh, live I will be doing on Thursday again and I'll be coming in at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I had fun the last one I did and I'm having a ball doing all of them. So I look forward to seeing all of you guys joining me for my live keto questions and answers. Other than that, let's get started on this design and I look forward to seeing each and, one, each and every one of you in my next video. God bless and take care. Hi everyone. So here's what I decided to go with for this week's nail design. A cute childlike look with daisies and dots. If you'd like to see how I did this one, then please continue watching. Hi everyone. Welcome. So we have got these naked nails that need to be painted. Let me show you what I'm using in today's design for my new nail of the week look. So for starters, the pinky, the pointer, and the thumb, I'm going to use this one. This one is discontinued. It was $1.49 at Sally's, but it is a beautiful, uh, bronzy, coppery, glittery look by Orly, and I love it, and it's called Hipster. I found it, I think, last year or the year before, and I bought two bottles of it because I really liked it a lot. So I'm going to do that on three of the nails. Then two of the nails, the two middle nails, I'm going to do like a void look. So I want to start off with this OPI Infinite Shine, the Beige of Reason. It is my favorite sheer pink that I use for doing French looks or openness. So I'm going to use this one also from Sally's. And then I am going to be doing a neon color. So I'm going to start off with the Funky Fingers White Gesso from Five Below. And then I'm going to work with this LA Colors Yellow called Flicker. But this one here is so sheer. A lot of the neons need a white base first and it pops. But this one here would need probably five coats if I didn't have the white because it's so milky and sheer. But it is gorgeous when you have the white on. So then I'm going to put that on. And then I will be also adding this that I got from my good friend Jan. It is a beautiful, glittery, chunky uh, little white pieces in there. It's got a sheer yellowness to it and it's got some glitter to it. I'm going to put that over the yellow as well. And then I am going to, because it's going to be like a ruffle look, I'm going to go around it with this Art Deco 24 karat glitter that I got from Dollar Tree as well. It's got a nice fine art pen on the, or art brush on the end. I'm going to border all that with the gold. And then I am going to be working with acrylic paints. I'm going to need white, neon yellow, and this beautiful copper. It's called Antique Copper. I'm going to be using those colors for the acrylic paints. 
I will be also working with a dotting tool. I am using the uh, second to smallest one in a pack when you buy these. This would be the one just below the smallest one. That's the one I'm gonna be working with. And I also will be working with my brush, 10 over zero to do some of the art. And it just needs to be cleaned, so don't worry about that. But it's from Hobby Lobby, it's my liner. And there's the brush on the end. And then I will top everything off with my Sesh Vite. I may put a few brown rhinestones in it right there. They're mixed through that black there. I might put a couple of those in the design too, but if not, that will be all I'm working with. So I am going to get a few of these nails painted and then I will return. Okay, I'm back. And what I've got here is just one coat of both the sheer pink and the brown. I'm gonna go over it. But the pink sheer, I like to keep it just with one coat. But I wanted to show you, look at the difference when you have one coat of that pink on to without it. See how it just makes it look so much better? And I've got fill lines in there. I've felt them like five different times so far. So they start to get lines in there. But you see, just that one coat makes a difference. I'll show you. Let me draw in here. So I'm just going to do a coat of this. And it's like just one coat of this makes a huge difference on your look when you're doing an open look, like a French look, or like I'm doing that void look where you have an opening in the middle. So it makes such a huge difference. You see that? Look at how much prettier it looks now. And then once I have the white around, everything looks beautiful. And then I'll show you that bronzy color. I love this bronzy. It kind of has, let me show you up close. It kind of even has... Um, some pink to it. Look at that, like a rose color. Isn't that beautiful? And look at that glitz in there. I love this color. So beautiful. Let me show you. Um, one coat is pretty sheer, but it is so pretty with the second coat. It definitely covers after the second coat. I've used this one before, and it is very lovely. I love it. So we'll get that. And cap the end there. And I'm going to do a second coat. But there you have it. And you see it's got that shimmer to it. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. So I'm going to let these dry up and I will return. Okay, I'm back. And look at the difference that just one coat or a second coat makes. See that? Look at that beautiful pink in there. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So I've got one more coat I need to do on this finger. I'll do that on just to show you guys, going from one to another coat. Just that second coat makes all the difference. And I just can't believe the glitz in this polish. I'm glad that I had grabbed two that day because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. You know, you can't tell till you uh, look at the stuff, you know, when you get home, see it on your nail, but I always have a guinea pig. My husband always lets me do it on him, so. Um, but that particular day, he wasn't there, so I'm glad I took a chance. Look at that. Isn't that just stunning? Do I, am I missing some right here in the end? I mean, that is so beautiful. I love it. I love how you see that pink through there, yet it's so brown, too. I love it. So coppery. Just absolutely stunning. So I'm going to finish this up, let it dry, and then we're going to start the art on the middle nails. Okay, I'm back. And you see, now I've got that look. I'm talking about that void look almost like a puzzle piece is missing. And I do have some in the skin, but don't worry, we're gonna clean that up. I'm gonna show you how we're doing this. So now this one goes this way, so I'm gonna make this one go that way, kind of like a C. But I'm doing it kind of ruffled like, you see what I'm talking about? So we're gonna take the nail. I'm just gonna turn it aside so I can get on here recording good. I'm just gonna start down here and start swaying and just go all the way up and come around. I guess I didn't have enough polish on my brush. Just come all the way up around and however you want to end it at the top there. And same thing down here. We're going to sway a little bit more and come up. Now we're just going to fill in. And don't worry if you hit the skin because you need this to be filled in really good for when you do that yellow so it really pops in there. So I'm just going to get completely up to the edges there and down to the cuticle good. I need to get down there a little bit more. All the way around here. It's a little bit harder when you're not just painting it straight when you're trying to do a design. A little bit harder. So and then I'm going to cap the end even though I'm going to fill that in with yellow. We want that color to pop. So 
just like that. And you see how cute that is? It's like puzzle pieces and maybe like a cow print. It's just really cute. So I'm gonna let this dry up, clean up the white, and then we're gonna go on to the yellow. Okay, I'm back and you see how bright and fun this neon yellow is? One coat when you have that white down. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look at how milky it is, see? It's really sheer. So you definitely have to have this down, but it only takes one coat, one. Watch, you just set it down and just go around the edges. You don't have to care if it gets out of the lines because it is so sheer, you can't tell at all if it hits the, the pink, um, you know, the pink French that I've got going there, you can't even tell. So just follow around, make sure you get all the nooks and crannies of this one where all the white is, and you see it just takes that one coat isn't this cool? That's why it's so important to use white as a base when you're doing a neon, especially especially this one, because it is sh so sheer, but it is absolutely beautiful. And I remember back when I was younger and I would do sheer colors like that, I'd have to do so many coats, not knowing that white is the way to go to make it pop. You know, I mean, obviously I learned that real quick because this technique has been around for a while, using the white as your base. So, but it makes sense, you know, anytime you have white, it's going to make something pop underneath it. I mean, over the top of it. So, but just like that, and isn't that bright and stunning? And I love the brown and yellow together. So now I'm going to let these dry up, and then we're going to go on to that glittery stuff over the yellow. Okay, I'm back, and you see now I have got that glitter in there. Isn't that beautiful? It even has little pieces of yellow. I love it. So now we're going to... I'll draw in a little closer here so you can see it when it goes on. I'm just gonna try to really pick up, I shook it good, I'm gonna try to really pick up all the chunkiness to it. And I'm just gonna set it down and kind of tap because I really want this, you know, the big pieces to go on. So I'm trying to grab as much as I can on this brush so it gets all that juiciness of the chunky white and sparkle and the yellow, there are different colors in here. It's really pretty and I love that there's a sheer yellowness to it. That's really cool too. I think I found the perfect one for this design to use this. It's so fun when you, you know, get something from somebody and all of a sudden you come up with a design and it goes so perfect with that design and I love it with this. So you see that, isn't that cool? I love it so much. So now I am going to let these dry up and top coat with my sesh feet just to smooth everything down and I'll be back to show you the design now. Okay, I'm back and now you see I've got the dots on it. I was doing a dot look too, isn't that cute? I do have it on the thumbs too. I left a finger open to show you. That's what my dotting tool is for. A lot of times I just use the brush but I'm going to use my dotting tool. Here is my palette here and I've added in a little bit of white so it's not so opaque. So here's how I do dots when I use a dotting tool. I'm gonna get the paint on the end of my dotting tool using the smaller one. I'm gonna start right in the middle and I'm gonna dot going down and keep getting paint because I kinda want them all the same size. Just go all the way down the middle. Then I go on the side and I go in between. And who cares if they're a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, that's fine. Then here I'm gonna go in between those ones and then wherever you see an open spot, you can just add another one. So I'm just gonna go like that, all the way down, and then right there, I can add a few more in. Just dot, 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 like that. Whoops, I'm gonna add just a couple right there just so it looks better, just like that. But I haven't done dots in a long time like that, just on the fingernails, and I thought it's so cute. This design I'm doing here I is meant to be cutesy and fun. So I'm gonna finish up here and get ready to do the design on the yellow ones. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I've got these half daisies in there and I will be adding a brown dot in the centers and I will be adding some lines in it so they will get better. Don't worry, right now they look kind of funky, but I will show you how I'm doing that. So I'm gonna grab my brush. We're gonna go on to this one. Uh, and get some of the white. Now I want it to be kind of thick. So it starts off when I set my brush down, I'm gonna set it down so that it kind of gets wide and then just pull to the center like that to make a petal. Same thing here, just kind of set it down and pull to the center. And same thing over here, set it down, pull to the center. 
do another one right here, set it down and pull to the center. And I'll do another one right here, set it down, pull right to the center. Then I'm gonna do one more at the top. Whoops, I knocked over my polish here. One more at the top here. So we're gonna set the brush down, same thing, and then just pull to the center. Set the brush down, pull to the center. And because it's been so beautiful here, we've had 60 and 70 degree weather, just all of a sudden, I just was in the mood for a bright neon look with daisies, and I thought this was really cute, this look. So we'll do one more right here and bring it to the center, like that. So now I'm gonna let those dry and then we're gonna do the dot in the center. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and you see I've got those brown dots in the center, which is making it look more like a daisy. So let me show, show you how I'm doing that. I'm dipping into that bronzy acrylic paint, getting quite a little glob on the end like that. So I can just set it down and right into the white in the center, I can make a dot like. Same thing right here, and that's what makes it look better. These are kind of like half flowers, but when it's got that in the center like that, it just changes it. You see how much better that looks now? So now we're gonna let those dry up and we're gonna put a little bit more dots into the brown part and a little bit of brown into the white. I will return. Okay, I'm back and you see I got the little white dots and the brown going through the white. Isn't that cute? So let me show you that step. So we're gonna dip into the brown just a tad and go up very lightly into the petals and just kind of just do a couple little lines like that through it, like that. And then we'll go to the next flower very lightly. You're just wanting a light touch with just a little bit of lines through it. And then in the centers, we're just gonna take a little bit of white and dot a few dots in that brown part. There, isn't that just darling? I love these because they're very childlike. That's what I like about them and that's the look I wanted to go for. Very, very childlike. So now I am going to um, let these dry up and then we're gonna go on to the last step of using the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. Be right back. Okay, now all we have left is to top coat. But I forgot a step. I don't know if you guys picked up on that. I forgot to do that gold border. I actually did it on my toe so you'll see how it is done. So at least you guys will get to see that. But I had forgot that. I was helping my husband get Minnie ready to go for a walk because it's so nice out. And I forgot to do that gold when I came back to sit down. So, but I did go through it. If you see, I've got it, you know, going through them, like just like right in there. I've got the gold like that. I just went where the lines were kind of open, like on that one here, on this finger. I went in there and did it there. So it still got on there, just not bordered exactly how I wanted it. So now we're just gonna, I only have to do these nails. I've done all the other ones. So we're just gonna go over, wait, I'll do it on the other side so you guys can see. Just using my Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. And I'm just gonna go through here and do a coat of that, a nice thick coat. You always wanna make sure you do your top coats pretty thick, especially this one. It dries really fast, but you want it nice and thick because it does, it lays nice and flat and it leaves it nice and shiny and cap off your end. So I'm gonna finish these up and I'll be back to show you the end product. All righty, I am all done. And isn't this just absolutely cute? So childlike. That was the goal on this look. I wanted it to look more like a child did this one. I did another design back. Um, I did a butterfly look. I've done a few. You can just look in my playlist under spring looks and stuff. I did a butterfly look and one of the looks I did very childlike. I did that on purpose. That was my goal on this one. That's why I have the dots on it and these daisies looking more like a child did it. And I love the feeling of that sometimes a painting when it looks something like a child would have done. So I absolutely love it and I love the outfit to come with this one too. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in my next video. God bless and take care.